Hey everybody, welcome to another video on my project Xcui. In this video I want to go over making a simple UI and show you guys how quick and easy it is. So we're going to make something that looks kind of like this image you guys see floating in the lower right hand corner right here. So let's jump right in. The first thing we want to do is we want to texture, draw a tile texture across the background. So let's go ahead and select our texture. And we want it to tile, so we got to set the right size, and it's going to be a data source, which is the size of the window. And there we go. It's drawing the texture tiled across the background. So the next thing we need is a label uh, at the top there that's going to say character creation. You can see as we're typing, it's showing up up there. Um, now we want to give it a horizontal layout. And... Inside of there, we want to go ahead and give it a label and give the label an image. Uh, I want to change the default style for the label to be the box, actually. Um, then, after that, inside of here, we want another, or no, we want a vertical layout and then a horizontal layout inside of that that we're going to go and take the style off of because we don't want to see that and we'll give it a label and a text field and the label oh, we want to give it another label and the label we're going to go ahead and change to bold text is the style name we're going to call that character name and we're going to give it a uh, size there all right now we can go ahead and add a parameter for that or a field so we'll call that character name and set it to a string and then we're going to come back over to our text field and we're going to set its value to be a data source and it's going to be the character name so now we can type in there And it works. It's storing that over here in this variable. And you can see over there. Alright, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our first uh, attribute, which is going to need another horizontal layout, another label, um, another text field, and a horizontal int slider. The label is going to be a bold text label again and give it the same width so everything kind of lines up. Um, oh, we want to take the style off of this as well. Alright, and we'll say this can be 200 across. It doesn't need to be very big. It's actually going to be displaying the value of our strength. So let's add another one over here called strength and let's add the other ones while we're at it because we know we're going to be doing that so we got strength intelligence wisdom and dexterity all right so over here this text field it's going to get its value from it's actually not going to be directly from the strength it's going to be remote source it's going to be a string and we're going to have to format it and we're going to set that to our strength and we're going to set the horizontal slider let's set some values on it real quick so your strength can't be below 10 or more than 18 and we're going to set this to a data source for your strength so there you go now you can see it's controlling the strength value all right we'll just give these a name real quick so we know what they are because we're gonna duplicate this a couple times real quick now let's just call them what they are Alright, 
so let's go inside here and uh, let's change this to be our intelligence and our slider we're going to clear both of these and hook it up to our intelligence there we go all those are hooked up to our strength still because we duplicated them so wisdom dexterity and set the last one nope too many clicks there we go now each one should be operating independently there we go, and it's changing and showing and storing all the values. And the last thing we want to do is go ahead and add one more horizontal layout with a flexible space inside and a button. And take the style off of this guy and give the button some text, which is... Right. And there you go. We have a replica of this down here and everything is working. And that took us not very long at all, but just under seven minutes. So there you go. That's XGUI and that's some of what it can do.